Hello everybody, I'm Miss Chinksy, and this is my Left Legend and Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we won the Gumchu Bowling Alley mini-game, and uh, that's about it, really. We have uh, a not very really small episode, just not much was achieved. But, um, at the end of the last episode, I searched for a heart piece, but instead got a, um, what's it called? A fairy fountain. I have no clue why the guidebook says there's a heart piece of heart there. I looked in the piece of heart section of it, because I've got the official guidebook for it, and I, I couldn't find why it said that. But also in the guidebook, in the secrets section, where it shows the list of them, it says there's a secret grotto near Longhorn Ranch. I have no clue where that is. So again, the pieces of hearts will be a bit of a challenge for me in this, but never mind. I always enjoy a good challenge. So, what you want to do is come all the way over here, and you know the great fairy at Death Mountain said that there's going to be a... Well, one of the great fairies is near Harrow Castle. Well, now you've got bombs, you can now come and visit the great fairy. So, come into here, and here's the second of, I believe, four great fairy fountains, although I could be wrong, could be more than that. So, play Zelda's lullaby like normal, because there's a Triforce symbol on the floor. And the creepy great fairy will, be, will appear again. Okay. Creepy. Come on, just give us the gift already so I can get out of here. Come on, hurry up. Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. If I remember right, this is Din's fire. If I remember right, that is, I could be wrong so far. But it's red and Din's fire is red, so I believe I'm right. Yep, Din's fire. You got Din's fire. It's fireball and gulps everything. It's attack magic and you, you can use with C. You can now use Din's fire, not only to attack, but also to burn things. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Right, not too sure I want to, frankly. But, now you've got that, you can get a certain golden sculptula in Hyrule Field. So I'll meet you where the secret grotto is. Okay, um, I know I just said there's a piece of heart you now get, but as wrong, you need the next dungeon item for it. Like a lot of pieces of heart and golden sculptures. No, just golden sculptures really, pieces of heart not really. But, like a lot of golden sculptures in this game, you need the next dungeon item. So I won't be able to get it unless I've done the next dungeon. And I'll, m well, this is to continue the storyline. Look at the mini map where I just was, and here's Zora's wi River. Now, you can see Gabe Bora, or whatever his name is, up there, the owl. I like doing the spin attack just to destroy all these at once. It's fun. Okay. So... Ugh. Who? Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already. Link. Just head like Zora's domain. Zora serves her as royal family by protecting this water source. They do all not open for anyone except those who carry, have some connections with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo hoo hoot! Okay, that's not creepy at all. He might as well just say you Zelda's lullaby. He really must. But he doesn't ask to repeat that. But if you exit this place and then enter again, he will repeat it. Roll into that, I believe day or night, it's just turned night for me, so, yeah. And, there's a god sculptula. Now, I've now got 25 of the 100 god sculptulas, a quarter of all the god sculptulas in the game. These I do recommend blowing up all for, because they'll be there the entire game. Oh, come on! Fine, I'll do it like this, I'm supposed to. There we go. Um... You use this entrance a lot, and it's kind of just annoying if you have to um, just go in between them. Well, that's how I find about it anyway. Soft soap patch here. 
Now, I'm just going to check my notes if the... Uh, actually, where? But I'll, I'll just test it. I was going to check my notes if there is actually a golden school tray here, because I know some of them there isn't, but I'm guessing there is here. So? Nope, there isn't actually. So, get your infinite bug glitch if you've accidentally used one like I did. And touch win. What does he want then? How about some magic beans? They're not selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? Yeah, sure, that's only 10 rupees. I mean, look for Tea Magical. If you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Um, okay, if they're only 10 rupees, I might as well get another one then. How about some magic beans? Well, they're not that pop way. You just said they're not selling very well at all. 20! He just doubled the price in front of my eyes. I'll get it anyway. Okay. You better not have raised it this time. How about some magic beans? They are getting to be quite... No, they're not. I'm your only customer. Mm, 30. Fine, fine. Might as well. Okay. Now, here, we'll continue raising the price. They're all the rage. No, I'm your only customer. 40 rupees. Now, these... I can only buy one more, and that's five. You can get ten in total. We have the popular magic beans. You'll regret it if you don't buy them now. Uh, believe me, I really won't. Just for now. I like how you just add that in brackets. But we've just got under. You need... T you need... Well, you need 60 to get the rest. Well, to get one more. Now, hopefully there's going to be at least one rupee in there. Uh... Oh, whatever, I can't be bothered to go around throwing all of them. So, um, I will be back to pick up the rest. I cannot be bothered to go and to all the way to Hyrule Castle to do that infinite money glitch thing. I well, There is a way to get more rupees, and it's on this path, so I'm just going to do that instead. Bring the cocoa for now, and um, come all the way over here. As you see up there, there's a piece of hat, and that will become extremely useful. Oh, or you can just miss like I have, you know, just the common thing to do. Ugh. But, um, all of the magic... Wow, hurt me just by hitting the cuckoo. All the magic beans I will be planting all at once, near the end of... Well, after this dungeon, basically. After this dungeon, I'll be planting them all. So, um, what you want to do with the cuckoo is... Go all over here, drop it by pressing A just as you lean against the wall, and I believe you can just reach. Yes. So, you have obtained a piece of heart. Now, if you look over... Oh, no. Oh, just said about Saria. If you look over at that wall, wall I mean, that boulder, I believe there's a cow under there. I will check anyway, because I'd be interested in finding out what is under there. But I believe it is just a cow. Um, so pick up the cocoa again, and, um, oh, this log I'll get into later. I won't bother going on it just yet, because I want to get what this cocoa gives you first, if you reach the very end with it, or what it's used for, I should say. So, yeah, again, just throw it up. Don't let it run away. If, it took, if you throw it into water, and it's deep water, it will just fly straight up and escape. Come on. No, don't go into water. Thank you. Okay, so this way is the way you want to go. And if you look at the map, it does look a bit confusing, but it's basically a lin linear path. And there is a, a big shortcut for this, and it's the soft soil patch. If you've got the soft soil patch, you can get transported all the way over to that bridge in just by stepping on the soft soil. In well. The plant which grows from the soft soil, if you plant a seed there. That's what seeds do. So, come all the way over here with the cocoa, and there's the piece of heart. Now, I'm just going to change it to night time really quickly. So, um, no way. Here we go. Okay, there is a gold scorchly you can get right now, and it's just below here actually. Turn to night, and... no, down. Whoa, ow! Landing right on it is not fun. I'm just going to use this. I mean, I've got 50 ammo, I might as well. Okay. 
Right, you can get quite a few rupees by doing this, to be honest. But it's annoying. Extremely an annoying. I'll meet you back there with God Scorchula. Okay, I'm back over here. And I believe the God Scorchula has revived itself. Yeah, it has. Okay. Destroy it again, then. And this time I will not fall. Well, here we go. Okay. So, God Scorchula token number 26, I believe. Um... Yeah, 26. Now, um, I'm going to check out that log now, and hopefully I'll get more than 60 rupees by doing this. Come on, two more. Just two more. Ugh, won't give me any, I know it won't. Come on, two more. I just need two more. Nah. Okay, um, I was going to get the next seed thing if it would just give me two more, but never mind. Um, down here at this log, if you come over here and stand right on the very edge, come on, go on to the log, thank you, and stand right here, some frogs are looking at you from underwater. So, uh, you can see a frog down there actually, the blue one in the top left hand corner below the magic meter. Bring out your ocarina, and, frog, choir, no wait, uh, Play the Ocarina songs you've got. I just played Zelda's Lullaby. Frogs will go all happy with you. And one of them will grow big. Young lad, you played the Ocarina well. Mmm, that melody is so fine. Rivet, we all should practice it. Rivet, take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it. Rivet, Rivet. Don't ask how them, uh, they get so much money, but they give you 50 rupees for each song you play. Now, I'm just gonna... Where is it? Oh, it's on the screen. Ugh. I'm just gonna play these in order. Epona song now, because that's the next one. Wait, where is the Epona song? I've just gone... Okay. Uh. It's... It, it's kind of repetitive, but... It's alright, you get a reward for it. I mean, I believe you can speed up the frog's text so it's not overly annoying and repetitive because they just say the same thing each time except if you play a certain song later you'll get the same prize but that's just 50 rupees again and um, I'm not going to play the third song because if I play the third song I will get well, I will lose 8 rupees out of the deal and I know it's only 8 rupees and it's quite stupid really but I just don't want to do it so, I'm going to go over to the bean salesman and buy two more of the beans. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, I've got to go all the way. <sighs> oh, no! This guy's here again. No! <laughs> See, this thing is so annoying, Zora's uh, river. I haven't even exited the place and entered again. And you can't skip this or speed it up. There's probably some way, but I don't know of it. <sighs> okay, um, I'm just going to end the video here, I think. Um, in the next episode, I'll go back to the bean salesman and go to the frogs and vice versa. Get all the beans I can right now. I might even get them all, frankly. I mean, I've got two other songs I can play still, uh, but that's it for now. So, in the next episode, I'll just describe what I'd do. Why did I just say that? So, I bid you all farewell. Bye.